Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale the Mr. Coffee Iced Brewer. So I've got the manual here, and we're going to use distilled white vinegar. There is a section in here on how to clean your coffee maker with distilled vinegar. We're going to need 8 ounces of undiluted white household vinegar. So they say to use the tumbler that it came with to... Um, to put the, you know, when it brews the vinegar to brew it in. I'm not going to do that. I, I think vinegar has a pretty strong flavor and taste. I don't want it to kind of get into that plastic. I've got kind of an older cup. You may even have an older glass you can use. But that's what we're going to use. So first thing we need to do, let's measure out 8 ounces of the vinegar. Undiluted, so this is going to be full strength, eight ounces. Then we're going to come over here. We can take this reusable basket out. We want to make sure there's no filter in here, no coffee grounds or anything. We're going to lift this basket off. We're going to pour this vinegar right into here. So it comes up short of the max line, but that's okay. That's what it says to do, eight ounces. Then we're going to put the filter basket back on. Make sure you close the lid and we're simply going to press the start button. Make sure this is over to where the water can come out or the vinegar. And almost immediately it starts brewing the vinegar. So you're going to want to do this if your coffee is not tasting as good as it should or if this machine is taking longer than it should, that's when you want to descale. And if it's getting really loud when it's brewing. And if you've got really hard water, you may want to do this every three to four months, but definitely every six to seven months, eight months, you definitely want to be descaling this. It's not making too big of a mess putting it into this smaller cup. Again, I just don't want to, I just don't want to put white vinegar into this. You'll have to really clean that. It may leave an aftertaste in there. And this does have kind of a strong smell to it. Nice thing about this this white vinegar, this big jug is on, 64 fluid ounces is only a buck fifty at Walmart. So we're almost done. It's almost up to the eight ounce mark. That took less than four minutes. Now be careful. This water can be this water will be really hot in this vinegar. So here the vinegar ran through the machine. We're going to want to take this over to the sink and wash it out with soap and water. Get this all nice and clean. Again, we can't submerse this in water, but I do run, I'm going to run a little bit of water in here and just dump it over. Make sure you got it unplugged and don't get any water down around here. But there is just a little bit of leftover vinegar in there that you can kind of just dump some water in there and then dump it out real quick by dumping, you know, by dumping the whole machine out. Okay, now that we got everything clean, we're done with the vinegar. We're gonna reinstall. No, I gotta put some water in here. So we're gonna put, you can put eight ounces or 10 ounces, but it, it'll hold 10 ounces. So I've got 10 ounces of fresh water. Now we're gonna put this in the machine. Again, never go more than the max water line. You got the max fill line there. Then put this on again, no filter, nothing. Put your container down here, close the lid and hit the start button. That'll turn, that light turns on and in less than four minutes, it's gonna run that fresh water through there. So they want you to do this six to eight times to rinse that vinegar out. So give yourself about half hour, 45 minutes to complete this. So again, just after this is done, be careful that's really hot, throw that out and do this whole procedure again of putting the, the water in there. You're just gonna keep putting six to eight cups of or six to eight, 10 ounces of water in here and run through the machine. You don't have to clean it each time in between, but we're done with the vinegar. And once the fresh water rinses are through, then you're clear to use your coffee maker again. I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe.